All right, everybody. Welcome back to Jam Customs. We're back again in the beautiful shed. You're on a different shelf. Pillar drills behind us, so you're not on there. Toolbox is there, you're not on there. Yeah, I ain't got a tripod for that reason. And you're not on that shelf, you're on this shelf, the one above the bench you're out today. Um, so today, very, very cool. So, as you know, I've been running this bumper for a while now on the old corner. Hmm, mood came off the back of that. Because this here is the only bumper that I could technically run with a winch and have it fitting. Because, as you know, if we go down here, we build this bar on the front of look. That's now on the front of looking. We built this intended for this. That was before I had a body, so it didn't fit. Even tucking it right, even when you put it bolted, if you bolted it straight to the post, it wouldn't fit. Too lock, too too sticking it, stick stick it out. Use the word we're gonna use, stick it out. It's a new word that don't think it's real. Anyway, was so last night. Uh, I didn't film any of it or take pictures because I'm stupid. Uh, from the hands of filthy as well. I was building a new bumper for the front of the Tacoma. This is the rest of this video. All right, that's the rest part to go with that bumper. It's a new bumper, completely new design, roughly based off of a idea, most loosely, really loosely based off that idea. Most of it is custom, um, and that custom bar is going to need us to cut. Hold on a sec. Cut these. So these are going to need cut and drilled out um, to make it sit in as far as I can get it to go. Size wise, it fits. Big steel bar. Uh, it's gonna go body color with black rivets and a little black bar on the top. Difference is the winch sits upside down. So, whereas the winch would have sat like that, then now it sits like that upside down on the bracket. And then I'm gonna get two spotlights. We're gonna get them ordered. Next couple of from the end of this week, weekend, we'll get them ordered. Be here about, should hopefully, if I order them this weekend, should be here by next week. The next week we can fit them up and that'll be crack a lacking. Um, car on the other hand is not ready to trail because when I well next month we can finally get up trailing again. It's going to be running swampers, but I should have a light bar and spotlights by that point. It won't have the all terrains. These are the tires for this car. These are my BFG all terrains. Um, I don't have rims at the moment because, like I say, we broke one. The other half of that is on the just ain't care wall. So that's the predicament we're in there. But we're going to run Swampers on our trail and trip until summer. Because that's when my birthday is. And for my birthday, I'm going to get the new wheels off of Amazon. Pretty smart. Bronze alloys. Pretty cool. But all beard locks. Anyway, so today we're going to go through finishing this bumper. Because I've got to go to my grands. After, yes, keeping self-distance. Self-isolation distance. Crap and all that rubbish. Um, and I will be um, fix, just altering a little bit before... We finish it up and then we can fetch it back here. We're going to get it slapped onto the front of the car, cut them posts, push it in as far as we can go. Then, once that's done, we're going to then have another run at some more complicated stuff for the bumper. And we're going to get the top point put on. Uh, probably just screw this in on. This is just one of the plastic ones that I've got. So you can see, I might actually swap these. I've got two plastic ones. I might swap them out, put them on the back of here. Because this is Gramps' trailer. It's got two metal ones on. But because they're not really going to be recovered from. I might as well put them on mine. And then for that put the plastic ins. Because plus the black. So it blends in. Uh, then I can get the shackle and tow point on. And then I've got to figure out a way to. Uh, get the skid plate mounted up. Oh there goes a the screw. Need that. We'll go find that. There we go. Uh, and then once we've got the skid plate mounted up. And all that stuff is done. Then that'll be the new bar ready after we've got the new bar finished up and fitted we're then going to go through the next video um, after that is going to be something really cool and something that i've wanted to do for a while and i was going to wait till i finished the car we're not waiting until we finish the car we're going to do one now and then at the very end of this build we're going to do it again it's going to be what's been done to the car so far basically so i can't remember what i called it i ripped down on my list of paper and video ideas we're going to have what's been done to the car what's been changed because not everything has been put on camera. There's now pin stripes. There's a uh, uh, solar panel. Doesn't work, by the way. Before. Don't give me ideas. Um, Max tracks holder on the roof rack. Pretty cool. You know, slight things have been done to cha and changed on the car. And it's not been filmed. So we're going to do a video of what we've done to it since the last time we saw it when we were doing the grill. A lot has been... Not a lot, but a few things have been done since the grill. The video with the grill. 
Also, comment down your suggestions in the comments below. Uh, two, it would two late. No, it won't be too late for that. Um, the front bar is going to be body coloured. There's a little black hoop on the top because that's where the spotties are going to sit. That's going to go black. The rest of the bumper is going to be white. It's going to be body coloured. I think it looks smart. Rear bar. What should we do with that? Should we uh, keep it as it is, stall black, or paint the lower half uh, white, then paint the hitch and the tyre mount and the jerry can and keep them black what do you think comment down below your idea i would probably do that white lower with the rest of it black you know i don't know but anyway so we're gonna get into this video now enough mumbling from me and we're gonna go into getting that bumper finished up and having got still got mud on my tires and getting that uh new bar finished because we've got a plate to foot put on the front now because yeah so we get we get next time you see us we'll big grand we we'll get that bumper on so well not on but finished nearly halfway yeah i still got a lot to do with it but this is where this video comes in so we're going to take these off my shelf move these off the shelf there we go we're going to go to grands not right this second but we will be at grands in a second for you and we're going to get that um uh bump part done up and then next time we see it'll be on the car might not finish it this video but we should do we'll get the rough idea across anyway so let's go get this front plate sorted out and uh the catch is there. What do you think? Look at that majestic piece of kit. Colours are a bit off, but that's alright. We get that sorted. So I've got some tools here to a bolt. It's all test fit. That's there's locked out. We're going to take the fair lead off, the skid plate back off. Now, yes, I know that's not central, so I know I need to make a new one, but don't judge me on it. Fitment for me, I think that is some solid fitment. You know, it, to me. That seems pretty damn good, if you ask me. Anyway, so that's there. If you if you think it reminds you of something, to me it reminds me of the IFS front suspension kit. Uh, but it's not. So anyway, we're going to take that off, take the winch off, skip plate off, uh, paint it. Well, prime it. Mask up this top part once it's primed. That needs to go black. You know what, mask it up, keep it, we'll get it white, and then we go go over it in black fast. Gonna stay as it is. Like I say, it's uh, only temporary. Then we're making a new one. It's gonna be all fancy rivets like that, just along there instead. So we'll get that off, we'll take it off, we'll take it to bits. Next time you see it, it's gonna be laid out on the bench with wire ready to paint. Right? Catch is once we get that first coat of primer on. So the bar's now primed. It's going to need a few more coats of primer because for some reason... Now this was blue originally. That was because it was painted blue when it was on that bumper when it was on Luxy. Because that's what that's off. Now that there, as you can tell, it's a bit blue on that plate. That's because Gramps is painted that blue for some reason, which I don't know. Uh, and it's, it's not sticking very well. I, tried, I did rub it down, uh, but it's not sticking very well. And I'm going to have to sort that predicament. Uh... Might have to wait till the top's completely dry and then might have to wait till it's completely dry and then rub that middle bit down and try it again. But you know, we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna come back to that once it's dry. Next time you see it, it's gonna be all painted and we're gonna be bolting stuff back on and putting back on the Tacoma. So for now, I'm gonna catch you once that's dried and painted with white, and then it'll be all good. And then we'll get that fitted up and bolted up and put it back on the truck. Now, as you can tell, I have softened the coils, it's rubbing all the way, so we're gonna have a few problems. You're probably gonna alter the suspension that is why it's sitting flipping low. Put them, put them tyres back on it if it's sitting that low. <laughs> I might do that for a laugh just to have a look because uh, they will go on it. But anyway, until that's dry, I'll catch you back in about, what, 20 minutes from real time? One second in your time. Power of editing. So, right, my hair is looking amazing. I know it always flipping does. But the bar is now up there, painted white. Uh, the rivets and the top bar, like I said, I, was gonna, I wanted them black. Um, I don't have any black spray paint. They're all empty and there's none down there. So the plan is uh, I'm going to brush paint them bit black uh, with a bit of model paint on a brush because I'm that good at ninjuring and all that crap. Plus I want to get it put on and bolted up by the end of tonight. 
because um I have no patience. We're gonna set you back up on the shelf. Right, so the bar work is gonna he's looking at me, looking amazing, exactly how I wanted it. Skid plate is gonna get rebuilt, uh new one. That won't be done on camera. Now, next episode, which will probably get filmed tomorrow because I've got a lot of time on my hands this week because it is half term. Hey. So, tomorrow's video, we're going to do what's been done to the Tacoma since last time you saw it. Also, I have changed to smaller tyres today, af earlier, after I mentioned putting smaller tyres back on it. Just because. Oh, did I mention that? Well, if I didn't, well, I have. So, yeah. They're not permanent because, permanent, like I say, all terrains are the through and through tyre for it. Um, but now, we're going to see, we're going to have that uh, laid on the bench with the parts, got to get them bolted up. But tomorrow is going to be another video on the Tacoma, because I like Tacoma videos, they're my favourite. Um, so yeah, we're going to uh, jump right into getting that them parts bolted up, so we're going to jump right into that right this second. So let's go. Now then, so I'm a little rip around in the garden, up in the scale course. Uh, just for a laugh because I wanted a little thing to do. Performed perfectly. There's no rub. When you fully adjust the shocks as well, like so this when you tighten them all the way up, there's also no rub from the good old what's his the ass? What's his face? The um uh bumper up in there, there's no rub when you have the big tires on. Or with these tires that are on now. So I've given it a little rip. We're going to have to pull the bar back out. Very snow fitting post. And it's a couple of coats of primer and a bit of white paint on. But it's alright. It's alright. It fits in. So now, what we are going to do. You're going to set it up in the vise. Tie it from the skid plate. I don't think you can see that. No, you can't. So we'll adjust it. So up first is our fair lead. That's stained silver. I'm going to bolt it on. Now... It's not exactly, probably, it's not prime conditions to be bolting stuff down, but I'm impatient and I want to get that insta peak. So we'll adjust that up. There we go. Push the screw it. Well, Alan Keane. Um, now, by the end of this video, we're going to go over a little rip in the course um, to show you the cool bar, show it off, because I've got a trailer as well that I need to pick up. I've got a trailer up at camp, which needs picked up um, before the night's out, so we're going to have to go do that as well. So we'll get, oh no, I'm getting mud all over my hoodie. We'll push the car back, I think. So we'll get these nuts on the back. Put a bit of paint on the back of them. That might cause us... Problems trying to get this nut on the back. So we've got that there. And we tighten that up. I've tried to keep all the screws that hold stuff down on this. Roughly all Allen keys where possible. Hmm. Well, that's, a drill, that's a bit of a drill bit. We don't want that. Snapped old drill bit. Like every drill bit I own. I snapped. So, all you, I'm using is a pair of pliers. Now, the reason I'm not lock tightening it is because I don't see the point. The old bumper never lock tightened in. No, no, yeah, no, it wasn't. Um, and when this fair lead was on, no, this fair lead was never on the other bar. But the other bar that's on the look see, the rollers on there uh, were never lock tightened on. Um, still aren't to this day and they've never fell off or got loose. Right, I'm going to have to get the winch on myself off camera because that's a little bit of a pain. But so far, that looks amazing other than the skid plate. But that's okay. And tomorrow, um, we'll get them painted up off camera. I'll paint them up off camera. And then that, because by the time I've got the winch on, technically it's the end of the video. So I'll catch you once I get that winch fitted and back on the car, body on. Then we're going up into the scale course to go up to my camper trailer. Right then. Catches all in about five minutes. Yeah. You 
take a paper and start making me every step is major try to be focusing and of course it hurts every fault you And dance, they are. 